So. Okay, I was about to mention. Ma'am, actually, you okay. were asking that. Yes. Hello. Go. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I am asking. Means you was asking that uh, about nervous systems, like na. Uh, I have also sent Ravi sir autonomic nervous system. No, autonomic nervous so system. I hope you have. Only we get um, but that uh, nervous system, autonomic nervous system. Not got it. Why didn't he load it? Okay, I will till today again. Yesterday morning only I have sent sent him. I will tell today again. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So uh, you all know autonomic nervous system. Yes. Voice is breaking. Ma'am, your voice is breaking and screen what? also. Now screen visible. And about my voice? Yes, ma'am. Now it's okay. Okay. Now tell me, uh, which part means autonomic nervous system is part of which type of nervous system? It is division of which type of nervous system? Peripheral nervous. Peripheral. So, autonomic nervous system is part of peripheral nervous system, and it regulates involuntary activities of body. Right? Autonomic by the name itself, you can understand. It is regulating the automatic activities inside the body. The autonomic nervous system is broadly separated into two divisions, sympathetic and parasympathetic. You know this. The two divisions work in an integrated and complementary manner to maintain involuntary functions and homeostasis includes Control of breathing, blood pressure, digestion, glandular secretions, etc. The effect of autonomic activity is no is on effector organs like smooth muscles, which controls diameter of airways, cardiac muscles, which control rate and force of cardiac contraction, glands, and GI secretion. So these are the things you already know that autonomic nervous system is controlling smooth muscles, cardiac muscles and the glands inside body. Right. Next is nerve pathways of autonomic nervous system. The efferent or motor nerves of the autonomic nervous system arise from the brain and emerged emerge at various levels between the midbrain and the sacral region of spinal cord 
and goes to related organ. Okay, so the efferent or motor nerves, they are arising from brain and means they are arising from brain to various levels between midbrain and sacral region. Each division has two efferent neurons between CNS and effector organ. Okay, so each division, like uh, in what way we have divided the nerves, has two efferent neurons between CNS and effector organ. The preganglion neuron and post ganglion neuron okay means uh, the thing is the effect means uh, efferent neuron or sorry efferent nerve is divided into these two one is preganglionic neuron and one is post ganglionic neuron okay Means uh, before the ganglion, there uh, the neuron is known as preganglionic, and after the ganglion, the neuron is known as postganglionic. The cell body of preganglionic neuron is in the brain or spinal cord. Its exon terminal synapses with cell body of postganglionic neuron in an automatic ganglion outside the CNS. So, we can here talk about that uh, dorsal root ganglia we have seen after uh, the um, spinal nerve. When we, we were studying spinal nerve, we have seen there was post, uh, sorry, there was a dorsal root ganglia. Right. So, in that, uh, taking that dorsal root ganglia as an example, we can understand these. That let me take the pencil, or I have let me see. Yes, there is here is the picture. It is no, let me take the pencil. Yes, so what we are talking about is let's assume this is spinal cord and we have seen that there is dorsal root ganglia like this and then the nerve is continuing you can understand till this we have already discussed and seen the picture oh yes yes ma'am okay now, what we are talking about preganglionic neuron and postganglionic neuron. So, preganglionic neuron, in case of preganglionic neuron, means the neuron starts. Means, uh, for example, the neuron is starting from here. Okay, so the cell body is from here and the neuron is continuing till here. Okay, let me take another color. Yes. Okay, so the neuron is starting from here and it is continuing to here. So this one is preganglionic neuron. So the cell body of this preganglionic neuron is somewhere in the central nervous system. And the exon terminals is now connecting to postganglionic neuron from here so let the postganglionic neuron is the cell body is here and it is continuing like this okay so this one is preganglionic neuron and this one is postganglionic neuron okay is it clear yes ma'am clear so, the cell body of preganglionic neuron is in the 
brain or spinal cord its exon terminals synapse with cell body of post ganglionic neuron in an autonomic ganglion outside the cns the post ganglionic neuron conducts impulse from effector organ and here is a picture you can see how sympathetic and parasympathetic <clears throat> sorry yes uh, so how sympathetic and parasympathetic system is working so here uh, the preganglionic neuron you can see that uh, in the periphery means let me take the pencil again yes yeah yes so this line you can see here is a line right so this line is border of cns means still here this is you can understand this is brain or spinal cord right so uh, before this this is the uh, brain or spinal cord and here the preganglionic neuron this is the preganglionic neuron which is whose cell body is situated in the cns and this neuron is now conducting the message to periphery periphery means peripheral nervous system okay so now this neuron is uh, conducting message to post ganglionic neuron this is the post ganglionic neuron and this post ganglionic neuron now conducting the information to target site right so which whichever may be the target site depends upon the uh, action so this post ganglionic neuron is uh, conveying the information to target site now in case of uh, parasympathetic preganglionic fiber is also here you can see the ganglion is very the same what is the difference here it's the same this ganglion is a bit away from central nervous system so uh, the thing we, we were discussing till now it is the same so i hope you you get it and next is we are going to study in detail about sympathetic nervous system so the preganglionic neuron originate in the spinal cord at the thoracic and lumbar levels that is t1 to l2 hence it is thoracolumbar outflow release acetylcholine at acetylcholine at synapse the postganglionic neuron cell body in the synaptic ganglion and terminates the organ release noradrenaline at synapse so these are a bit uh, deeper okay so the thoracolumbar outflow release acetylcholine at synapse and the postganglionic neuron that is cell body in uh, sy synaptic ganglion and terminates the organ release noradrenaline noradrenaline at synapse you don't need to remember this much deep okay just leave it you don't need to remember this much deep sympathetic ganglia that is the lateral chains of sympathetic ganglia extends the upper cervical level of sacrum the chain lying in the each side of vertebral bodies don't need to remember this uh, let's go further types are prevertebral ganglia Prevertebral ganglia, collateral ganglia. Leave it. Here. Functions of autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system controls visceral functions of human body. For example, blood pressure, gut motility, emptying the urinary bladder, regulation of body temperature, etc. through stimulation effect and glandular secretion contraction and relaxation of smooth muscle cardiac muscle 
accordingly so you this thing you need to remember these are the um, functions of autonomic nervous system right so what do autonomic nervous system do in our body it regulates the blood pressure gut motility gut means intestine okay so uh, gut is the gastrointestinal tract you can say so motility of gastrointestinal tract that is um, the movements inside gastrointestinal tract and peristalsis is one of them so emptying uh, the urinary bladder is also one of the autonomic nervous system function regulation of body temperature that is part of homeostasis is also ans function etc through stimulation effect the glandular secretion contraction and relaxation of smooth muscles cardiac muscles accordingly so how these functions happen they means uh, through autonomic nervous system stimulation effect means uh, stimulation effect is done due to autonomic nervous system command and glandular secretion occur and for that reason contraction and relaxation of smooth muscles occur right means what is the uh, what is the story happening here the autonomic nervous system is commanding on uh, glandular muscles or uh, means yes the autonomic nervous system is commanding on glandular secretions through stimulation effect means the autonomic nervous system is stimulating the glands and as the glands are getting stimulated it is releasing chemicals or impulses and that is why the smooth muscles are getting contracted or relaxed for the contraction and relaxation the muscles of visceral area or cardiac region getting worked means they are working on contraction and relaxation and that contraction and relaxation is doing everything right so now sympathetic stimulation prepares the body deal with exciting and stressful situation for example strengthening its defense in time of danger and its extreme of environmental temperature emotional states like fear anger also cause sympathetic stimulation its general effect is to fight or flight from situation okay and what is parasympathetic stimulation has a tendency to slow down cardiac and respiratory activities but it stimulates digestion and absorption of food its general effect is that of a peace maker allowing that is rest and digest now here you can see the signs of sympathetic and parasympathetic this thing you need to grasp it very clearly right so right side is depicting sympathetic division and left side is depicting parasympathetic division so what is happening in sympathetic uh, activation the pupils are dilating inhibits salivation means salivation do not occur saliva does not secrete during sympathetic nervous system activation relaxed airways accelerates heartbeat inhibits digestion stimulates breakdown of glycogen and release of glucose and inhibits activity of intestines what happens to kidney stimulates adrenal gland secretion of epinephrine and norepinephrine relaxes the urinary bladder 
stimulates orgasm vaginal contraction in case of sexual activity and inferior uh, mesenteric ganglion okay this is inferior mesenteric ganglion no need to learn that so these are the symptoms of sympathetic activation now we will see the symptoms of parasympathetic activation during parasympathetic activation means when when we are in rest at that time pupils constrict stimulation salivation means salivation uh, do occur properly constrict airways slow heart beat heartbeat stimulates digestion slight stimulation of glucose uptake and glycogen synthesis stimulates activity of intestine stimulates urinary bladder to contract stimulates penile erection or clitoral arousal okay so these are the symptoms of sympathetic activation and parasympathetic activation so here in this picture you can see one uh, another very important thing that sympathetic activation is occurring that is uh, when uh, occurring when the nerves are outflowing from thoracic to lumbar region means here you can see all the sympathetic activation are occurring when the nerves of thoracic to lumbar is getting activated and parasympathetic are located at cervical region and uh, sorry yes cervical region and sacral region okay so sympathetic activation occurs when there is a thoracolumbar outflow and parasympathetic is cervical and sacral outflow okay i hope you get it excuse me ma'am ma'am can yes. you say that parasympathetic last uh, symptoms stimulate pineal that one can you explain okay. it okay so uh, stimulates penile erection or clitoral arousal means when people are rest People, uh, means parasympathetic activation is there people are in position of rest and digest at that time penile erection and clitoral arousal they are also in rest so they may occur in their resting position otherwise when they are in uh, sympathetic activation means when sympathetic activation is occurring at that time orgasm occurs means during a sexual activity that time sympathetic activation occurs otherwise uh, parasympathetic activation during parasympathetic activation penile erection is normal and clitoral arousal is normal okay ma'am clear okay so uh, these are another symptoms of sympathetic activation so uh, the things are some of the things are already repeated uh, mobi mobilizes body energy dilation of pupil widening of eyes secretion of sweat glands yes this is one extra that when we are uh, sympathetically sympathetically active then sweat glands secret sweat stand hair of skin means the hairs of skin stand erect that is also seen constriction of blood vessels all over except skeletal muscles uh, means uh, yes blood vessels constrict all over the body except skeletal muscles increase heart rate 
bronchiodilation is the, this is one of the important thing during sympathetic activation bronchiodilation occurs now can you tell me why this bronchiodilation occurs during sympathetic activation body needs more oxygen yes so our body needs more and more much and much oxygen so that is why bronchiodilation needs to occur so that body need body get proper oxygen then it, uh, decrease gi motility and secretions obviously it will happen in rest and digest constriction of sphincters of bladder and bowel yes so uh, when we are uh, sympathetically active at that time blood vessels sphincters all the things get constricted except airways functions of parasympathetic nervous system constricts pupil secretion of digestive glands and respiratory slowing heart rate bronchios constriction increased gi motility contraction of urinary bladder and relaxation of sphincter initiation and maintenance of erection of uh, erection of penis okay so this is what about we need to know about parasympathetic and sympathetic that is part of autonomic nervous system here it three from ma'am voice is breaking now is it okay now yes ma'am yes so any confusion any doubt ma'am only this much yes autonomic nervous system autonomic nervous system is further divided to sympathetic and parasympathetic so we have uh, learned today in detail about sympathetic and parasympathetic and that's enough for your UGC net. Okay, ma'am. If you want to go deep, then there are larger volume of books. Never ending. No need, ma'am. No need, ma'am. We have to study more subjects. How yes. how we can go deep. Yes, that is what I am telling. You have so many Upanishads, Hatha Yoga, Patanjali Yoga, and so much more things to do. So, yes, any question, any doubt regarding this? Ma'am, I have a doubt. Uh, actually, yes. when uh, in sympathetic nervous system, if it increases the heart rate, mm -hmm. how does the like the respiratory rate decreases or it relaxes? Respiratory rate do not decrease. Respiratory rate also increases. But the airway dilates. Means if um, the diameter of airway during parasympathetic nervous system is 2 semi. Then during sympathetic activation it will dilate more than 2 semi. Like maybe 2.5 semi so that you can breathe fast with more oxygen or with more air it is not like that our uh, breathing rate decreases during sympathetic nervous system breathing rate heart rate everything increases okay ma'am thank you yes so any more question And I have I'm... one more doubt about yes, the weekly test. Like I just joined like this Monday and uh, I'm having little doubts. Like the test we have on this Sunday is like the muscular system, but I thought it will be nervous system. So how is it like uh, the previous months are we having or is it like uh, whatever we cover the syllabus? 
Actually, I don't know so much about these things. I am supposed to teach just. So, um, I think it is no, like this the... No, this conducted by students only. It's not from the faculty side. You may not be knowing it. Who was that who asked that? They just finish it. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's between the students. We discuss about topics, and you we can we are doing the test. It's not from faculty side. That's what I studied. Like yes. now, the system completely, but I didn't know it was muscular system. So no problem. Mus you just learn today muscular yeah. system. It's muscular uh, system is not uh, so much difficult. You can go through the slide and you can get it totally. Okay. If you have the slides. Yeah, I have it. If you don't, yes. Then you can go through it. It's not much difficult. Okay. So if there is uh, no doubt, so we can bind up the class. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So sit straight. Close your eyes. Inhale deep and long. Exhale completely. Let Namaskar Mudra in front of your chest and start the prayer. Sarve Bhavante Shukhinaha Sarve Santo Niramaya Sarve Bhadradi Pashyantu Makaschit Tukh Bhag Bhavet Om Shanti 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 Rub your palms Put those palms on your facial muscles Feel the warmth Feel the energy And open your eyes with a beautiful smile on your face for the day Thank you Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.